do you think you conceded so many chances in the first half and so few chances in the second half? No, everything was bad in the second half. The first half, I, it's it's difficult to prepare for something for that. What what Arsenal did tonight in a, 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 for the full 90 minutes, pretty much, I would say. But especially in the first half, the setup, the different setup with Harvard and Odegaard, more or less, double ten. It was a four-two-two-two two, two, wingers wide, uh, massive threat. So we had. A few days time to prepare for a, for, for a most difficult game, and obviously with, with a slightly different team, and, and in the last second virtual um, couldn't um, play. That didn't help. Timing was bad in the first half for pressing for pretty much everything in the first line. That makes it tricky for the for the midfield, and nearly impossible for the last line. So we had to defend deeper and had to block balls and stuff like this. But. That's in football as well. It's just it's the, then you have to show desire, passion, these kind of things, and uh, determination. And what the boys showed, um, and then we changed obviously as well uh, uh, quite a bit, and that caused then Arsenal problems. That's how football is. Um, these little parts you only you cannot be always that influential, but as little influence you have, I had in the first half on what they did, I would say as little. Is the influence for Mikkel in a moment like that? And we just had, we used now the information from the first half um, and 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 tried to do better and did much better. So um, everything was better. And then we created step by step. We were more in the game. We had our chances. We defended them better. How it is? Home the home game is actually an advantage. But when you are better in the first half and don't score, then you it's normal for humans that you get in kind of a rush. So it barely gets better, or usually doesn't get better in the second half, so it's just you, if you don't score. And we felt more and more comfortable in the in that game, and um, yeah, scored a, uh, uh, from a corner, <laughs> an own goal, which is obviously not, um, um, you cannot plan that. And had then chances to score earlier, but scored in the last second, which is fine as well, and we are really happy. It was, you all know, cup competition is not about being the better team, it's about winning the game. And um, we had, in the second half, much more good moments and deserved the next round. But of course, we could have lost tonight as well, that's clear. Thank you. What I actually don't like it's not it's not you, but it's like everybody's like that. Um, but Taro Endo was not here tonight. Dom Soboslai was not here tonight. Andy Robertson was not here tonight. Kostas Tsimikas was not here tonight. Thiago Alcantara was not here tonight. Stefan Bacicic was not here tonight. Joel Matip was not here tonight. So that's a, f a really good football team we missed. So, um, and if I forget. Forgot somebody, sorry. Um, so football is like that. Sometimes you have them all available, it's pretty rare, and sometimes you don't have them available. And I'm super happy. That's why I said first half you could see we were not, it's not, didn't click. It was not because of new players or whatever, it was just the timing was bad. And, uh, yeah, and that, that, was, that doesn't help for pressing a uh, rhythm and timing uh, uh, extremely important, and we didn't have either. Um, but yes, if that's the case, I've said to the boys in a meeting before the game, humans are like that. We, it's a tough game. Nobody comes to Arsenal and wins just like this. So in this game, there will be a difficult moment. If we start in these moments, as what humans very often do, getting for excuses, and then we realize who else who is not here, and it's normal that we have these problems, then we are screwed. So, but. Um, if you know these kind of things, you can avoid it, and that's what we did. The boys enjoyed the game, uh, at least in the second half, and um, that's really cool. And staying in a game that looked in the first half like that, then growing into a game is, is a pretty special thing to do, especially in a away game, and so I'm really happy with it, with both halves then, because we can learn from both. Jürgen, congratulations. Thank you. Having listened to players a while here, and Arsenal obviously got injuries and 
people away as well, but they fill in a relatively strong side. We played them twice in two weeks, drawn with them and beaten them. Can we read anything at all from that into the title race? No. I can't. That's <laughs> mean that nobody can, but I can. So we play in, feels like... So I think if we if we draw now Man City away, for example, next round FA Cup, um, then we play Bournemouth, Chelsea, next FA Cup, and then Arsenal again, if I'm right, and again here. So it's 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 really tough. I I can't read anything um, there, but I know that this league is is crazy difficult. Um, but you have to find solutions. I've said it all plenty of times. There are a thousand ways. To win a game, we just have to find one. But it's unfortunately much easier. Sounds much easier than it is. Um, but for tonight, it worked. So that's good. But no harm done in terms of belief and confidence. That you know, you can well, we don't have a problem with belief and confidence. But we, we just we just we are not we are not really bothered about the, the the things you are talking about because we can read the calendar. We see it's January. It's cold outside, stuff like this, um, and you just have to stay warm. And play as good as you can, and that's what we try. Michael? Yeah, slightly aside from the game, there's reports from uh, Saudi Arabia that Jordan Henderson's not enjoying himself uh, at his club there, and maybe looking for a cut price move. Is it just sentimentality that makes you think that Liverpool might be one of the clubs interested in him? <laughs> Did Hendo have a press conference and say that, or what? No, not directly. Oh, it's just written. That means for me it's not existing. <laughs> but it, was, uh, it didn't call me. And, and so, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, we, we spoke actually, but not about that. Um, so, yeah, no, I've really nothing to say about that. James? Just without Virgil today, how pleased were you with the two centre arms? Top. Top. Oh my God, the, 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 the horrible moment was Ibu was twice down, eh? and then Jarrell goes down and, and, and just jaw his back. Does it make sense? Because I didn't hear the word before, so I twisted a little bit about back and um, and actually I thought that's it and, and it would, would have been really tricky um, early in the game. So, but that oh, was really good and Joey again good and, 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 and Trent exceptional and then you have Ali for a moment, so that's helpful as well. Um, so, in front of that, I really, the Maka was really there and Curtis wanted for Cody, it was a bit more difficult. We put him against on that position, and then the front three. I would say the timing was really not great for the pressing situations, and that's why then they could pass too often. But it was difficult, so we we tried to prepare for everything. Did I prepare for a double ten, and 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 high winger? No. So more my fault than the boys' fault, and um, we had a half time to 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 see it, to watch it, to learn from it. In the second half, we set up was much better. What's the situation with Virgil? Would you Will. Yes, I'm hopeful, but I don't know. He, he was not. He came, and it's difficult for for Birch to look shit, but he did, um, and so we send him home again. <laughs> Last one here. Okay. Uh, another great game by Frank Alexander-Arnold. Thank you. you. with the way he has grown as a leader and as a player in that role he has? There's still a lot of space, but it's outstanding already. It's great. It's he enjoys it, obviously. You could see that on the pitch today. One it up. He spoke to everybody without me shouting at him and telling him that he has to speak and, and make sure that we are now really compact and stuff like this. Um, and was in, my God, what a player. <laughs> ah, yeah, uh, a good game. And um, yes, age wise, he's there. He can do that, and he did it. Like Ibu stepped up tonight, really. In that last line, that's extremely helpful. We cannot put everything on Ali's shoulders in moments like that just because Mo is not there, Virch is not there, blah, blah, blah. But Tao um, grew a lot into that role recently. Um, for sure, now not a big speaker, but in the game he was there. So missing all that is, is not cool, but we have to do it anyway, and that's what the boys did. Thank you. Can we fly home now? Thank you very much.